Hi, this is a short update on what I'm doing with the camper. I did get some parts. Um, I did also order some parts. I will let you know about that in the next video. I was going to make one video for the two, but I would have to splice them together and it's just a hassle. So I'm going to talk about this first, then I will make another video right after this one and talk about what else I purchased. Now I went today and purchased the metal for where I pull out the hot water heater. It is 18 by 18. I purchased a piece of 24 by 24 sheet metal. I also purchased a 24 by 48, I believe, where I'm going to pull out that back window. This one is the 24 by 48. And the back window, I believe, is 22 by 32. I will have to cut these down. And this one here, right there, is 24 by 24. Where I'm pulling out the hot water heater, it will leave a gap that is 18 by 18. So I will have to cut both these down to fit. Now what I'm going to do is once I get them cut down, I'm going to measure in about a quarter inch or so. And I'm going to drill holes all the way around. That way, I will, when I put my screws in, the holes are already pre-drilled. And before I put this up, after I get my holes drilled, now this part here, right here, will face the front of the camper, top, back. Of course, however I get it out there, it's going to be 18 by 18. But on the front and the top I'm going to put screws every inch and a half and on the bottom and the back the, the part face in the back I will put screws every two inches and you're going why am I putting them less in the back than in the front and on the top on the top I want to make sure it doesn't leak so that's why I'm putting so many screws in the top and on the front, when you're driving down the road and pulling your camper behind you, most of the wind is going to hit the front. So I want it to be extra stable, extra sturdy. Now once I get this cut down, I will take butyl tape on the top. I will go from one edge, clear across to the other edge. Then I will put butyl tape underneath that, right there, where they'll line up. So basically the butyl tape's here, then underneath it I will go all the way down on both sides, and then on the bottom where the butyl tape comes in, I'll start there and I'll go across the bottom. And you're probably asking why am I doing it that way? Why am I making sure that the top covers everything? Well I want to make sure it doesn't leak. With one solid piece of butyl tape across the top, it'll help. And then on the bottom, you know, on the front uh, side here, where it's going to be facing the front, it'll be a solid piece up to the top, and then so-and-so. Now, I did spend quite a bit of money today, which I really didn't want to. Here are the screws. I got number 10s, 3 quarter inch for doing this. They're stainless steel. I had to buy a saw blade. I'll talk about that in the next video. I got a couple more teas. I ordered some. I'll talk about that in my next video. I got a paint tray with the roller and the brush for when I do the roof. And I got some silicone. I bought some new bits. I didn't have a choice. Um, getting all that wood out of the camper took my cheap bits. And I got some duct tape. And I already have butyl tape. So I'm good on that. And I got the hose clamps. A uh, large pack of hose clamps for hooking up all the water hoses. Alright, that's it for this one. I will let you know on the next one what I need all this stuff for. Uh, basically, uh, a lot of this stuff. And I got some stir sticks for starting up the rubber roof coating. I today spent $170.27. Just at Lowe's on the metal, the drill bits, the saw blade... Uh, the silicone and uh, just what's in these couple bags here. 
so anyway here's a shot of the metal again like I said I'm gonna make this a two-part video uh, the next part I'll upload after this one I'm not gonna splice them so anyway um, that's it for this one uh, this is the metal of course I will replace the back window with and the hot water heater with uh, when I pull those out all right that's it I will see you on the next one and when I talk about what else I bought I purchased bought for the camper all right bye